what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another episode of farm manager 2021 uh here taking a look at our little sheepies that we have these guys are just so adorable <laughs> just sitting here they're just enjoying their little life carefree life just mosing around feeding on the grass and being taken care of by our employees so where we left off at the end of the last episode we went ahead and we put in our factories and our animals over here uh, got all the factories in for all of the sheeps and for the cows and the goats and now we're producing all kind of cheese and butter and hopefully making a decent profit out of it so if we go and we check our budget here we can see for our estimated budget we're making every month two hundred and ten thousand dollars roughly and daily we're back in the negatives <laughs> but we're making forty two thousand dollars a week and yearly we're making 2.6 million which is just awesome so our farm is doing relatively well but what i want to do for this episode today is i want to go ahead and get our cows up to maximum food quality so we can get the best out of them we're already producing like a boatload of milk and stuff from the cows over here and we have a bunch of resources just sitting in here except for this one that has a, a small amount but we have a decent amount of resources sitting in here uh, manure and milk we want to get the animals up and start getting them eating some crops so what we're going to do is we're going to crank the game up a bit let the game run we have eight hundred thousand. we're going to throw down a new field here and i think we're going to go for a maximum size and i'm going to put it right over here and we're going to go for the maximum size and see how big we can actually should we do that yes we should let's go for the maximum size drop that there we'll spend 50k on this and we're going here get the organics and we want to make crops so i was looking at some of these um seeds that we have that actually can turn into crops and we have a bunch of corn here and i think the corn is probably like the cheapest one that we can use that we can pay for to get the crops because the lupin is pretty expensive and we get a decent profit out of the lupin and because we're not going to sell the crops anyways we might as well just kind of sell it just use it just to feed our animals so we could grow something different we haven't grown any lupin yet so you know what let's go ahead and let's let's grab this let's say we're going to grow lupin just to get the crops on this field so what we will need we're also going to go before i jump the gun here we're also going to go right off the bat and upgrade our irrigation we'll spend one hundred thousand to get the irrigation upgraded because we went around and did it for all of our fields so now we don't have to have a tractor going out to water these fields anymore which takes up a bunch of time and takes up one person from doing something else that we, we kind of need them to do so this person will go ahead and get this all mowed up. We'll get all of this stuff in. We're still researching, chugging along with the research, and I think we're doing the faster reproduction of the uh, the poultry. So once we get that done, we're gonna spend the fifty five thousand and get the level three for poultry, and then we'll have I think we'll have all of our buildings up and running. Just paid the bills, and we spent like three hundred thousand on bills here, which was actually pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's pretty nice. That's pretty expensive. But we'll see how much we can get back before this field starts coming in. All right. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get another, some more animals in. So we've already gotten our chickens. We've gotten the cows. We've gotten the goats. And we've gotten the sheep. So I think the next one that we want to do is we want to get another type of egg layer in here and we have these ostriches now we have the large ostrich farm right here and i think this is what we're going to actually throw down is the large ostrich somewhere over here i'm thinking that i might have to get the roads readjusted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it right behind this um i'm going to put it right behind the barn that we have over here and just go into this area where we had bought a few episodes ago because we haven't really done anything much with it and i think we want to go three rotate this around so we can see what we're doing here one two three four one two three four there we go and drop that one right there get the roads ran 
over in front of these guys and get these guys built up there we go so i'm not sure how many people we need for these buildings but i definitely looking at this we can see that we already need to have another house over here and we're getting pretty pretty close to what we actually have for all of our workers cap i think we're at 175 is the next research of where we kind of left off so we got to be pretty careful to kind of see so that we don't max out everything and we need some power over here and um, let's see oh we're gonna have to throw this right across the street here so that we get all three of these guys in oh get it on the road oh right there and we'll just run this over to this section here or should we run it all the way down to the road on this side yeah let's do that we'll throw it run it all the way over there get all of this powered up because we're going to kind of clean this area up over here for the chickens eventually to kind of get the larger chicken coops in so now we have these three up oh, and these guys only corn sunflowers okay soya all right so corn is not a problem the shogum might be a problem oh no we have shogum so that's fine the soya might be a problem so i might need to increase or we might just need to start growing our own soya as well to kind of get that going so summer's in um these fields won't be won't be harvested for a while i'm not sure how long it takes for this stuff to finish up but we'll see um so we're spreading manure over here how are we doing for manure as a matter of fact let's just see that how how up up, up. come on come on over here there we go click on the manure and we did not click on the manure oh we have tons we have tons of manure we're good grass is doing good we don't have to worry about that we have twenty four thousand grass that's fine okay so let's get another house in and i think we might want to put this house like somewhere really really close by so that these guys don't have to walk too far so i could just come right across the street over here and just throw it right in front like this that way you know it's an even distance between the three of these and it says it's out of power oh because that moved just a smidge okay that's not good let's throw down one more power station um hmm we might have to rearrange some of this power stuff let's do this let's grab this here and let's get rid of this power bank here and get rid of these wires that we threw down kind of clean this up just a bit pause the game and get this all cleaned up now let's get the power oh we're not able to because it doesn't reach that one okay that's fine that's perfectly fine let's throw this right here actually let's leave that right there then let's get another one and we'll put this here and we'll run this and connect it up to that and then we need to how can we just connect this electric pole connect here and then run it over and get it connected up to that pole as well there we go so now everyone should be powered up let's run the game let's grab some people out of here first animals perfect here we'll get this guy in so we'll choose you for this house oh let's filter out everything 27 and 25 not bad not bad not bad at all let's grab this person and we want to go to house uh 16 yep 16 is the one and grab this other person here throw them into house 16 as well um because we only have two people right now i will only i'll go over here and it only takes two. Oh, beautiful so we'll wait until we get some more people in let's run the game until the next day i think we're going to be in some a little bit of trouble here going forward because um we might go a bit low on our budget right here just looking at it because we're about to pay some more bills and we didn't even get that far up into uh profits for this month all right 
So now we have our animals coming in. Let's get the food selected. They're gonna need this and this and this. Um, hmm. I guess we can grow some sunflowers as well and get some of that set in. Um, let's get some more people. 29, 3,000, yeah, no. We'll wait for some cheaper people to come in before we start getting these other guys. Ah, here we go, look at this. Here go our ostriches. <laughs> Are they, oh, they're just laying down, okay. They're just moving up and down and laying, it's laying around. We paid some more money, but we do have 500,000 in the bank. So that's pretty good. So the profits will start coming in. Let's just let this run. Um, we will set up another trade for our eggs. And it looks like I am running out of something. Let's add, and we want eggs. And we're going to do our ostrich eggs here. And we're going to say sell everything above zero. Because we don't need these for anything. Um, something popped up here saying that we needed to... Oh no, okay, it's gone. I'm thinking for the Shogum, we might have to increase that as well. So go to the trade, go down to where we have all of our items that we're purchasing. The Shogum, I might have to increase this up to 1,000 just so that we have a decent amount and we'll do this one. I mean, the, the soya beans and the Shogum will increase them up to 1,000. Actually, let's get all of these up and we'll get the wheat up to 1,000 as well. There we go. So. Um, nope, we're not purchasing eggs. Sell everything above zero. There we go. All right. So this looks all good. Everything is running. We want to pause for a bit, head back in here and see if there's any new animal people that popped up. And here are two more, 16 and 16. That's another one that we can add over on here. Let's get these ostriches in here for seven. Did that say $75,000? I hope not. Let's assign these two. Oh, and I also forgot to reduce their hours that they're working and then get this increased. Reduce hours and increase their animals. We'll do the same thing for these guys over here. Just to make sure that these guys are happy as can be. There we go. A field has died. What field died? Hold on a second. Disease on which field? Oh no, you're fine. That's perfectly fine. Not worried about it. It'll be taken care of eventually. Okay. We'll close that out. It's another set of ostriches coming in. And that should be some decent money. Let's see if we can get one more set of people in here. I think there's a new day. Nope, 3,000. Nope, okay. You guys are not worth it. All right, here comes the ostriches again. So now, since this field is over here and it's just coming up, how long do we have for this to grow? 81 days, all right, so we have some time. We have over two months. A little bit over two months that we don't have to really worry about it. Um, the next thing that I kind of wanted to focus on was getting some more we're gonna need another harvester but i'm not going to get that harvester in until we are ready and i actually think no i don't think we can get crops with this can we let's go to the market and let's go to the combines so i think we need this one here to be able to get the crops yes so we're gonna need the self-propelled forage harvester to get the crops and then the head, I think we're going to go for the 9mm head here to harvest everything up, which should be a lot better, a lot faster for us at least. Not really worried about it. Let the days crack on. I'm watching things here and kind of seeing that we're not really making a lot of money right now. We're spending a lot and our profits are slowly ticking up. Hmm. How are we doing in storage? What do we have? We have a ton of milk in here. Cow's milk and everything. Should we sell some more milk? Just to kind of bring in more profits here. How are we doing for milk? Milk. Oh, we're selling everything above 20K. 
for our cow's milk. So let's drop this down and say, um, let's say, should we do 10? Yeah, let's do 10K for everything. 10,000 for everything. There we go. So we'll sell off this stuff and make a little bit more profit in here, even though I think that's the goat's milk that we're not really making anything off of. All right. There we go. Training is now done. We'll go ahead and we'll drop in the last one to get the other, the last, uh, the large pens for the chickens. And then we should be good. Everything looks fine. Here comes our wheat over here. This is actually pretty good. There we go. This field is also ready to go. Oh man. This is gonna bring in so much resources. How much how much space do we have? 31 out of 120. Yeah. Let's throw down one more of these bad boys here. Yeah, let's drop that right there. Seven thousand dollars. So just so we have more than enough space to store all of this stuff that we're bringing in. All right. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Oh, we have a building that's on fire. Let's call the fire department. Get these guys in. No production is happening because of this. And as again, every episode that we've been making so far, we've had a fire. Pay the 34,000 to get the renovations up and running again. All right, we are good. This field over here, what do you need? You need to be sprayed. I think we need more people to actually take care of the fields and we need more equipment. Um, yeah, these guys are all driving. So I'm thinking we might have to grab some more people here. This one is full and so is this one. Let's grab, I think this, I'm not sure if this is full. That is full. We're gonna need more sprayers and some more tractors. This is filled up with tractors. This one still has a bit of space. So let's go in here. Oh, gotta be careful. We're at 400,000 right now and we are now in August. We have got to be very, very, very careful here. Our fields need to be tended to. And I'm thinking because we have all of these guys over here with these bigger fields waiting, we don't have enough people to take care of a lot of this stuff. Alrighty, there we go. So, whoop. What are you guys running out of? You guys are out of nothing. You have everything that you need. What do you mean? Oh, we are running really, really low on oats. But we have a ton of oats that's about to come in. So I think they should be fine. I'm thinking they should be fine. Let's not worry about them. They should be perfectly fine. Here comes this track. Um, it's harvesters coming in right now. So we should be good. Blackberries are being sold. Everything is being harvested up and being sold. How are we doing for our apples? 21 days for our apples and our apricots is another 21 days. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we need to get this last building over here filled up. We only have one person that we can choose. Let's grab them. And let's let the game oh, pause for a sec. Let's assign and let's get the game loaded up with these guys here. All right. $78,000 for all these ostriches. That's a, <laughs> that's where all of our money went. We just spent 200,000 on getting ostriches in. That's crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. 29. Mm, no, no, no. We'll get cheaper people. There we go. So now all three of these are good. We should be making some more money off of these ostriches here. And we're getting a ton of manure in. All right. I'm thinking we're gonna have to get another house over here with some more workers and some more tractors. All right. So let's pause for a sec, head inside of here. We can let the game run on the second speed for now. Let's get some tractors. Um, we can get the bigger tractors in. This is 48,000 for these big boys. Um, 
Yeah, and that means we'll get bigger plows, which will be good. So let's grab one of these in here. And we'll put it put it in garage three. We'll grab one of these guys and for him we'll go ahead and we'll grab the bigger plows so the red on plow we'll grab this one and we'll put this here let's rotate it around us a bit drop it there go back in um not that we're not using the potato planter we don't need that orchard sprayer yeah i think we have everything oh we just need the red on cultivator that's what we need cultivator there we go so we'll get a bigger cultivator in we'll buy it and we'll park it wow this is huge holy cow that's huge so let's repark this rotate this and put this right here boom should we yep there we go rotate it there so now we should have a bigger cultivator that should be able to go and get majority of these fields laid out and get everything taken care of um this field needs to be sprayed we need to bring in another person who is good at driving you're good at animals so i actually want to choose you and choose house 16 for you and then i need someone who's good at driving tractors wow all of these guys coming in really cheap right now there's only one person that's actually good at driving a tractor. Oop. Let's grab this guy here, set this person up, get her to start working, and get her leveled up. Okay, so now all of our ostriches are good. We're gonna let the we're gonna run it and just wait for another person that we can use to drive our vehicles over here. Because we do need a lot more people. All right, let's hire. Go into 25 right here. Let's get this guy. Anyone else that can drive? No. Okay. 98%. 83%. Look at how happy these guys are. Oh, wow. 85. Wow. There we go. So that should give us more people to drive around. I might bring in another, a so few more, because we have three here one here and three tractors over here yeah so we might need to bring in some more people i'm going to continue checking for these guys 27 is not bad 29 isn't bad 29 here um you have this one here that's fully maxed out yes so let's choose you and let's just get these guys there we go. After this, I don't think we need anyone else. So we shouldn't have to really worry about them anymore. They should be fine. 600,000 coming up on the end of the month. I'm thinking we should probably grab one more tractor while we're at it. And we'll grab this one by and drop it in this garage right here. There we go. Now we should be perfectly fine. All right, this guy's out here with a ton of bales. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> uh, will there, is there another spot that I can use to grab a sprayer to get a lot of my uh, spraying done? Let's grab this one. Where can we place this? Oh, perfect. Let's drop it there. Um, let's see if all of our fields are within range of that sprayer. Yes, all of them are. We are good. Okay, so from what I'm looking at, guys, I'm thinking we are actually doing pretty good. This is coming in in 31 days. Um, I'm not going to change over these guys yet until we actually get to that point. Um, our bills are going to drop us down quite significantly for this year. So... We might need to let some money kind of stockpile a little bit. Yeah, we might need to stockpile up a bit. Let's see our how our expenses is going. Um, the estimated budget. 
We're still making two million. We're still making two hundred thousand every month. So we should be going up if we're not spending. Because I have I have been spending quite a bit of money. So if we're not spending any money for the next couple months, we should actually see this starting to go back up. Oh, we just harvested our apricots and stuff. Yes, yes. Just got the apples and stuff in. Awesome. So we should be able to sell this here. Uh, let's go to sell. We want to sell apples. Beautiful. Sell all of it for 78,000. There we go. And can we find the apricots? 35,000 apricots, 98,000. There we go. We're back up to 500,000 in the blink of an eye. Thanks to our little orchard here. All right, the bales are being picked up. Everything is looking good. We'll let things run on. Money is flowing in. We have 23 days left for this guy. Um, so I'm thinking the beginning of next month. So we do want to get down another garage. Um, I am thinking to put the garage like right over here. So that way this person can walk over, jump in, and then go over to this side and use it on this field. So let's get another garage in. We're just going to drop this one down because we can probably hold a bit more stuff on here than just the regular ones. And this is temp this is really temporary for now. Um, how are we doing here? We're good. A lot of storage inside of here. We want to grab our combine and I'm thinking we need this one here, the self-propelled forager. It is 153,000, which isn't bad. Go ahead, grab it and drop it right here. Yep, drop it right there. Then we will need to grab our head, which is going to be the nine millimeter chopper here to harvest up all of the lupin that we have. And that's only $4,000. Grab this. This is going to go not there. It is going to go right over here. Rotate this around and place it. Boom. There we go. So this is ready to go whenever this field is done. We will have all of this stuff harvested up. We just need to spray one more, which we kind of don't really need because we have all of our tractors running. So waiting for the harvest for this to come in so that way we can switch over and start feeding our animals some crops. We got the ostriches in. What's this here? What's missing? What's out of range? Something is out of range. You're missing... You're missing a warehouse. A warehouse, really? Is the warehouse out, out of range for this thing? Oh, just barely. Wow. <laughs> just barely. How long has that been like that? Warehouse. Let's grab this, rotate this around, and we can... I could throw it over here. Could actually just throw it right in here. Yep. Let's throw it there. There we go. For 8,000, that's fine. All right. And we got the next training done. What we are going to do, we're going to let everything just kind of finish building up. We have a warehouse building up right here for this other ostrich pen. It's now autumn. We're pulling, we're harvesting pretty much all of our fields up. Um, just got to get the bales and stuff off of these two, and then we should be fine. More bales. Where is our barn? Barn is right here. Let's see. Our barn, we have a ton of bales in here. Which I think we should be selling bales and keeping like maybe 5,000 bales. No, we did not add a sale for bales. All right, so let's add one last trade item the bales and we're gonna say sell anything above 1000 I think 1000 of this should be perfectly fine there we go and that's gonna bring it bring us a little bit more money there we go money is starting to roll in now we're back up to 700,000 which is pretty good this field is about to harvest in four days once that spring gets done we have a bunch of bales over here that needs to be picked up. A bunch of raspberries being harvested, which is just fantastic. 
All right, we are looking good. We're looking good. Um, I think that we can probably go ahead and call this an episode here. Uh, we got this field is about to be done. Once this gets finished, we should. Uh oh, where does the crops get stored? Crops over here. I'm wondering if I will need another barn. Is this in range of this field? Yes, it is. Okay, so we should be fine. Let's see our harvester getting out here to come and get harvested. This guy has parked up over here. We're waiting for the... There we go. Let's slow the game down just a tad bit here. And let's watch this guy drive in to go and... Oh, we can't click off of that. Okay, interesting. Let's follow him. There we go. Run the game. Have her go in and start harvesting up all of this stuff. I usually think that the tractor yeah you're supposed to be riding behind this guy because you're wasting a lot of my stuff buddy <laughs> there we go ah oh, look at that this is pretty good so once this is all done we can go ahead and switch over all of our animals over into getting the crops and then that will kind of increase the amount of product that we're getting from the animals as well oh we have another two fur wow two buildings in one episode really all right let's run the game get that one taken care of real quick uh oh hold on what's going on eight eight warnings what is happening here no warehouse large cow shed what warehouse there's a warehouse right here what are you talking about are these warehouses filled? No, you're not filled up. You guys are all what? Oh, manure. Are we filled up on manure? Yes, we are. Oh my gosh. Okay, run the game. We need another manure thing. Um. Yeah, let's just rotate this and put it right here. That should be fine. Let's grab a few of these. I won't put it by the house. <laughs> we won't put it by the house. Um, oh, no, that kind of sucks. Uh, we'll put one more right here off the road. Yeah, we'll put one more right there off the road. There we go. Wow. Wow we are filling up on manure so that means we need more fields yeah tons and tons of stuff the tractor is filled what, what are you doing uh oh did this break down wait oh no it broke it broke down right outside of the range of my oh no so i'm going to have to call a repair person in or I might have to build another repair building. <laughs> Let's go to others. Can I fit one right in here? No, it doesn't fit. Oh, so because we put this manure thing here, we can't. Let's get rid of this one. Yeah, I think having a repair person right over here would be a little bit better. Right there. Let's get that mechanic in. Can we call somebody in to get this repaired right away? Um, no, I don't have, oh no, wow, oh, someone came to fix it, okay, <laughs> we'll have a repair person right here, so the field is finished, this guy's gonna go drop this stuff off, and then we can go ahead and let's turn on the crops for our animals, to start getting fed with crops this is going to be pretty pretty good there we go we got the crops in you need to be sprayed so let's go ahead for all of our animals give them crops so now we can start feeding all of these guys you guys don't take crops do you take crops no you do not okay so it's just the goats and the sheeps there we go 
getting everyone up to pretty much almost maximum for the sheeps and the no for the goats and the cows everyone was now getting crops and are doing pretty well so all right so we accomplished something here <laughs> we got some ostriches in money is rolling in the same way um how are we doing for crops uh we're, oh, we want our barn we have twenty-one thousand crops that's just gonna sit in there until we kind of see how much we're actually getting before we can start um selling any of that um, I think we're going to start expanding on our fields and have dedicated field spots for some of these other squares that we're going to be buying in the future. Uh, yeah, so production is doing good. We have money coming in. We can check our finances here pretty quick and just kind of see how everything is. Yep, weekly we're making 709,000, daily we're making 798,000, but I think that's because we are harvesting all of our fields right now. All right, so I think with that, everyone, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap this up here. Um, a lot done, a lot of money coming in, a lot of stuff going on. On our little farm that we started, we're making a decent amount of money again and going back into close to back to a million dollars more than what we started off this episode with so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did don't forget to like share and leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified of when new contents get posted to the channel and until next time everyone big up on yourself.